Hi lovelies! A few weeks ago, I asked you guys what you'd like to see more of on the channel, and the answer was meal prep. Meal prep, meal prep, meal prep. And so all month long, I'm gonna be sharing some of my very favorite meal prep ideas that are quick, easy, and most importantly, really delicious. And today, we're gonna be kicking things off with this absolutely amazing Greek salmon meal prep that is so flavorful and has quickly become one of my new favorite things. Now there is honestly just so much to love about this meal prep. It's super nutritious, it's protein packed, and it also happens to be keto. So if you're living that low carb life, this is the perfect meal prep for you. All right, so this meal prep is broken into two different steps. The first is going to be preparing this absolutely incredible Greek-inspired cauliflower salad that is loaded with amazing flavors. I know you guys are gonna love. And then the second step is going to be making this delicious lemon herb salmon that I cannot get enough of, and we're just gonna pile that on top. Now, first up, like I said, we're gonna start with our cauliflower salad, and as the name suggests, that of course begins with some cauliflower. So I've got one small head of cauliflower here that I've broken into really small florets. You wanna make sure your cauliflower is in nice small bites. It makes this a lot easier to eat. Now, if you're not a fan of eating raw veggies, you can definitely give your cauliflower a light steam and then just let it cool before you add it to the salad. But I find the nice lemony dressing that we're going to be pouring over our cauliflower is just enough to make it nice and tender, and honestly, you don't need to cook it at all. But of course, it is totally up to you. Now to my cauliflower, I'm gonna add some classic veggies. So I've got some cherry tomatoes that I've just cut in half. This time of year, cherry tomatoes are the absolute best, so I put them in basically everything. For even more great color and crunch, I've got some cucumber here. So this is about half of an English cucumber I'm adding to my bowl. Next, I have got some feta cheese, and I love feta cheese. If you wanted to keep this dish dairy free, you could totally skip the feta cheese, but in my opinion, feta makes everything better. I'm sure you've heard me say it before and I will say it again. Finally, to add even more great salty flavor, I have got some Kalamata olives headed in here. Next, we are going to dress our salad and the dressing here is so super simple that we're gonna make it right in the same bowl. It starts with a couple good tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then to that, I'm going to add some lemon juice. So I'm using the juice of one whole lemon. It's got such beautiful tangy flavor. This is definitely a job for your citrus press, <laughs> in my opinion. I love my citrus press and I will never hand juice lemons ever again because the citrus press just does the job for me and I never have to worry about it. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of dried oregano. You could pretty much use any fresh or dried herbs you want to in this recipe, but oregano is really classic in Greek cooking. I'm also going to add a healthy helping of salt and some pepper to this as well. We're going to toss this all until it's well combined, and honestly guys, that is it. Sometimes the simplest foods are the most delicious. And the fact that we use really hearty veggies here means it's gonna stand up really well in a meal prep. Now the next step in this meal prep is going to be preparing my protein. Today I've opted for some salmon. I found it on sale at my supermarket and I love salmon because of of course, it's full of heart healthy fats and lots of protein. But if you don't have salmon on hand, you could just as easily do this with chicken or shrimp instead using the very same method. Now to get started, I'm gonna be mixing up a really simple but super flavorful seasoning blend. I am mixing some garlic powder. I've got some dried oregano, parsley, as well as some dill. You could also add some basil here, but I will admit I was out of dried basil and that's why it's not here. If you have dried basil at home, go ahead and add that as well. Next, I've got some salt and some pepper headed in here as well. And you'll see I'm not gonna be shy with the seasoning of this salmon. I want the seasoning to act almost as a crust and help give the exterior of my salmon a really crispy sort of texture. And this beautiful seasoning is going to do just that. Not to mention add a ton of great flavor. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and season up my salmon, which I've cut into one inch cubes with this amazing seasoning blend. I really like cooking my salmon this way because you get a ton of great seasoning all around your salmon and a nice crisp texture when you cook it like this. And I wanna make sure that everything is really well coated. It's gonna make this ultra flavorful. 
Now, when it comes to cooking this salmon, you have tons of great options. You could just pour this all out onto a baking sheet and bake it in the oven at 400 degrees until it's cooked through. You could skewer this and grill it up on the barbecue. That would be delicious and you get those nice crispy bits plus those great grill marks. But today, I am actually going to be frying this up in a nonstick pan on the stove. I find you get the most crispy exterior that way and it is honestly one of my favorite ways to prepare salmon. I think it's gonna become one of your favorite ways too. So here I'm using a non-stick pan. There's no need to be a hero in these situations. You don't want your salmon sticking to your pan because otherwise it starts to shred and the non-stick is the best tool for that. I'm also going to add just a little bit of oil to my pan to make sure it's ultra non-stick. You guys know I'm all about making life in the kitchen easier, so let's do that. <laughs> Just as soon as that oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add my salmon to the pan in a single layer. It's really important that you don't overcrowd your pan, so if you have to do this in batches, definitely do that, because you want your salmon to have a little bit of space. That's how it's going to get nice and crispy on all the different sides. Now, once that salmon hits the pan, I'm just gonna let it cook up for about two to three minutes max. That's really all you need to start seeing it get nice and brown and golden on one side. Then you can go ahead and get in there with some tongs or a spoon and toss it so that it gets nice and brown and golden on the other side. Now something I love about cooking my salmon in cubes like this instead of in fillets is that you get this really crispy exterior all the way around your salmon as opposed to just on the top as you would with a fillet. So the flavor is amazing but the texture is on point as well. And just as soon as that salmon is nice and crisp on all sides, the last step is going to be just adding a nice big fresh squeeze of lemon juice. Now, of course, this can all be enjoyed immediately or you can store it in the refrigerator for your meal prep for up to three days. I hope you love this as much as I do. It is so flavor packed, but also super nutritious. I hope you guys will give it a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, can be found on healthymealplans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. What could be easier than that? Thank you, as always, so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.